Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today with a really fun, like, topic, and it's markers versus markers. So today, I drew out Dipper and Mabel for you guys, and I'm going to color one of them with Prisma colored markers. Now, they're alcohol-based markers, so they blend in with each other very, very, very well. And my first set of markers was Prismacolor markers. And then Mabel is going to be colored in Copic markers, the infamous Copic markers. So the question is, which markers are better? So let's take a look at these Prismacolor markers. Now it's very nice, it's, this is like the starter package, it's like 24 markers in this little, this nice little case, and they still sell them today, and you can get them at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, or buy them on Amazon or eBay, because there might be some people who didn't like them and are just selling them to get rid of them, and they're brand new. So I go ahead and I start coloring Dipper with the Prismacolor markers. Now the reason I chose to color Dipper with the Prismacolor markers is because I only have 24 of these markers. So Dipper has the least amount of colors and Mabel is just crazy colors. So um, I really like the color of the skin tone that came with the starter package and everything. And I found that it's really, you don't think about it with markers, but when you work with markers, you want to try and build up on layers and shading wise. I mean, you always have different colors that complement the base color that you have but you always want to try to make layers and make shadows out of those and everything it's just a nice technique to try to get to like to get used to and everything now you're probably wondering why did I leave Prismacolor markers and switch to Copic markers well the thing was I just wanted to see if I liked markers and Prismacolor markers are a little bit cheaper than Copic markers it's a good starter package and it, they're really really nice they blend in with each other and I didn't have a gray for Dipper's pants so I had to use black <laughs> um, but I, it's just um they're very nice to work with and it's a good starter package if you guys want to just see hey maybe I'll like these markers then I would highly suggest starting off with Prismacolor markers because it is a medium that not everyone likes and I mean you might totally love it and you might totally hate it but it's a good place to start. Alrighty, here comes the Copic markers. Now this is the whole collection that I have. Um, some of those are not Copic markers, but what you see, they have a chisel tip and they have a paintbrush tip. I love like the paintbrush tip. It's not actual paintbrush, but it's like a very nice altogether brush tip. And it's just so nice to use. And as a watercolor person, I love using paintbrushes and stuff. And it's kind of like a brush pin, but it's not really a brush. <laughs> but um, it's just really nice to work with and it gets in those really tight corners and everything. Uh, side note, if you see me, like, I, I stopped lining around my drawing because sometimes I like to save my lining to the end of my drawings because no matter what, you've got markers and possibility is that if you go heavy with your inking around in every, every other area, the, the alcohol markers will tend to smear it and I found that to happen with um, the Prismacolor markers and the Copic markers. I mean, you just have to be really, really careful. Color inside the lines. <laughs> you just have to or it's going to smear. So that's why I always like to save some inking to the very last part or it might possibly smear or I'm just horrible about staying inside the lines. <laughs> but um, I love Copic markers and once I found that I could afford Copic markers, I had been saving up my money. So I went ahead and I went on Amazon and I bought like it's a 72 package and I don't remember it. I don't remember if it was set A or set B, but it was one with uh, the whole like color spectrum was in it. And so um, if that makes sense, but I really do love Copic markers and I loved Prismacolor markers, but the thing is you just have to get used to either markers because both brands are fantastic. Prismacolors is just a good place to start. Prismacolor markers is a good 
area to start with alcohol based markers they do give you smooth good layers they blend well copic markers are if you're just so decided and you're committed that you're going to get into this marker medium and you're going to master it then you know it might be a little bit expensive and there's no way around it there is a way around it you could go to hobby lobby every weekend or michael's every weekend and go in with those 40 percent coupons and buy two markers a week and just build up your collection there. I have heard it happen many times and that's how some people have over hundreds of Copic markers or Prismacolor markers. But the choice is yours and you just have to give it a try each, each side start off with a starter package and then build upwards. It's totally up to you guys. I hope this was helpful and I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. 